Welcome back everybody. As we told you in the last video, we were headed to the North Carolina Clico Classic in Fletcher, North Carolina. Uh, it took us about seven hours and we drove 400 miles one way. As you see in the video, we got to drive through the Smoky Mountains. Uh, it was a beautiful sight. We got to see all the leaves as they changed colors. It's October. Uh, it was a kind of a long drive, but uh, you see the mountains in the background uh, as we're approaching the mountains. And once we got into the middle of the mountains, it really got uh, pretty. Uh, we broke up the monotony of the long drive with listening to Dateline and different podcasts and uh, uh, trying to figure out the crime stories. And that does pass the time as we're doing a ro long road trip. We do that all the time. Uh, but we even got to go through a tunnel, as you'll see later on in the video. Uh, it goes right through the mountain. Uh, we really enjoyed this trip. On the way back, though, the, the goats really enjoyed it as well. So stay tuned. I'm Amber and I'm Eric and we are A&E Family Farm. Well guess what folks we made it to North Carolina and uh, we've been two days here at the uh, Carolina Clico Classic. We looked at some good do uh, does, some good stuff we think we might be interested in so we are prepared to bring something home if we need to. We did buy a dog from Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, last one. So, uh, it's Great Pyrenees and um, Anatolian Shepherd mix. Yeah. So, all right. Anyway, we uh, Friday we spent all day as seminars. Doctor Fred, Miss Ann, uh, Doctor Ann. Uh, and we learned a lot, tried to learn some more, but. Uh, Dr. Brown discussed the parasites and how to prevent getting the parasites. And um, Dr. Paschal and Paschal, she um, discussed um, how to select and how to select your Kikos and their bone structure she went over all that so we did learn a lot yeah we learned a lot of things so so our takeaways or takeoffs or whatever you want to call it much much discussion on different uh, different viewpoints different motives uh, we want to try to take a collaboration of everything we took in, the motives, the viewpoints, uh, the intent, the intent of some people, what they're what they're really doing, and for the farms, and and we're trying to collaborate all that into make use of what we want to do. There's a lot of discussion on. <clears throat> I really don't want to get into this heated debate thing, but uh, there's there's a lot of discussion on whether you know we're here for the money. Uh, there is a lot of money market in the Kiko business, as you'll see today. Uh, some of them will bring some top dollar. 
uh, you'll get a good return on them. Uh, the bloodline is is really really important to some people, but uh, I think a pedigree is, is important. Uh, and if you'll go back and think about how the thoroughbreds did and the bloodlines and all that and, uh, for thoroughbreds, that's pretty much the approach that some people have took uh, for the bloodlines and, and buying and paying for the name. And of course, that did drive the market up. If it's pedigree, it's pedigree. Uh, so you are buying name, but you're buying good quality. Uh, and then other views of just working your animal, selecting the animal that's going to do the work on your farm that you want it to do. Yeah, and for the for the, some people, and they want to, they're meat goats, you know, they're, they're meat product. And product, uh, you know, marketing the product for meat uh, or brush uh, clearing, land enhancement. And uh, <clears throat> that's what we lean most most toward anyway. So, uh, uh, but yeah, we're going to try to collaborate everything and, and use a little bit of everything uh, and try to stay in the middle of the road, if you call it that. Uh, not get too far off on one side or the other. Uh, very, very smart people here. Uh, so we're looking forward to going into the sale and registering and maybe possibly bidding on something and possibly buying something and bringing it home. I've got everything prepared in the back of the truck. I got my panels cut, pre-cut, everything. I got bedding and goat feed and all that. A watering bucket and all that. So I have not put it all together yet because uh, we didn't know whether or not we would buy anything. But as I look around, a lot of people have a lot of stuff in the back of their trucks. Little crates or some little uh, <clears throat> cages and all kinds of stuff. So there is a lot of anticipation of people walking away from here with something today. I know one thing, we're getting a dog. We gotta name this dog. Uh, it was Jamie's last dog uh, from his uh, guardian dogs. A little female, and uh, we're looking forward to taking her home and, and making her part of our home and our family, and uh, maybe put her to work and <clears throat> we bring some goats home. What is one thing that you think that you learned yesterday that you didn't already know? Mm. I know what I learned. I, I guess I learned about just how smart the goats are. Yeah. With what they do and how they select what they eat. And <coughs> Excuse me. I guess. This is North Carolina air. It's been rough. Nose is red. I blowed it so many times. But anyway, yeah, it really messed my sinuses up. What did I learn that I did not know? A lot of things. Uh, the biggest thing that did stand out was how intense the mindset of people are on their different views and different strategies pretty intense so when when people ask you what bloodline are you are you and I'm thinking well I'm Caucasian American um, middle Tennessean you know but uh, we don't have goats so I can't answer the question but that when you get approached well, that's the first question <coughs> <coughs> From some people and then of course the some just you know what's your farm like uh, what do you intend to do with goats and, and what's your five year and ten year plan <coughs> with your farm because we need that yeah I agree uh, kind of already established a five year plan 
and hopefully we'll work toward that and, and accomplish that. <clears throat> so to answer everything, my, I learned a lot. I learned how I have to uh, search for quality. I, I learned how to uh, medically, I mean, you know, count poop. Yep, Dr. Fred gave a good lecture on that. and <clears throat> Counting parasites in the poop. Uh, yes. So, <laughs> Parasite, fuck. worm count. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna <clears throat> have to do all that the best uh, grazing for your goats and uh, where the parasites live that was all good stuff but uh, yeah but in our five year plan we have got we've got to, to really get into details and I guess the bloodline my question well what bloodline do you want I just know that I like the different color, the black and the, <laughs> I like the black and the brown goats with white mixed in. And then I also like the blue, they call blue, which is white with the, like a hint of blue. So yep. there's a, <clears throat> I don't like the solid colors. Of the there's a bloodline <clears throat> viewpoint and there's a viewpoint of what my goats can produce and what my goats can do and some strong views so if their mamas don't have baby twins the first time they have babies they go bye bye yeah to the table they go so very strong very intense uh, viewpoints for both sides so <clears throat> one goat to put back in the farm one goat to carry on the bloodline. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to get off here and we're going to go in. They're going to have uh, some... We're going to get off here and go in. They're going to have some uh, goat brockwurst for lunch. I think Jamie and, and some of his friends are cooking that up. So look forward to that. I got to get in here and pay the man for my dog. Got to get my dog put in a little pen. We got to register. We got to do a lot of things. So stay with us. We'll keep you updated throughout the day. And maybe we'll see what happens at the end of the day. All right. So see you. Bye. Uh -huh. All right, folks. We've got a seat. We've registered. We've got our catalog with all the goats and the pictures. We went back in the back, picked out the ones we we're interested in. There's 100 plus goats plus a few bucks. Uh, we. We did look at a lot, and over the wall here is semen, and uh, we're not going to bid on none of that, but here we go. She's now exposed to J.K.C. Kidroff, who is sired by L.C.K. Rocky Top, and is currently in the Legend Daughter, J.K.C. Cherry. see folks we have really brought something home it was a long ride home we got home about yeah midnight the goats done fine you see my little pen I had in the back of the truck with the tarp on it carried the uh, goats in it the puppy rode in the back seat under the underneath the back seat of the truck we had to stop a couple of times uh, to get us about to eat and make sure everything was going well with the goats uh, they seem to do fine. We uh, unloaded them. I made a makeshift pen right here 
and now we're on our way to uh, tractor supply to get us some poly rope and create our own little fenced in pen so stay tuned we'll show you some more come here tanker come here tanker hey tanker yeah hey tanker And another one. Tinker. Tinker Bell. Tinker Bell. Tinker Bell. Tinker Bell. And another one. Right there is Tinker. She's been exposed. She may or may not be having a baby. Right there is River's Darling. She's a yearling. Right there is Miss Marilyn. Miss Marilyn is supposed to kid in uh, early January. And then on the other side of Miss Marilyn is Honey's, Honey's Bee. And she is also confirmed pregnant. Um, not sure what time she's going to kid just yet. We have to find out. Tinker. Tinker. River. River. Tinker. 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 Well, folks, uh, we made it back home. Here's our goats, and we thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit the notifica notification button, and you'll catch the latest videos. So stay tuned for more.